Hey, just wanted to hop on here. Um, feeling kind of sick today, actually, but I just wanted to hop on here and talk about Neo's um offering. It actually completed today. Uh, 68 million shares sold at $39 per share. And the underwriters did exer- are going to be exercising their right to buy that 10.2 million shares. So it's actually going to be somewhere about around $2.93 uh, uh, billion. Dollars. What would you like to <laughs> I don't know why Siri just did that. Yo, what's up? What's everyone up to today? Oh, and then also, um, I was reading, yes, 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 I did get the courtside financial hoodie. Uh, I was also reading an article um, from William Lee in the news today. How is NEO going to do this week? We only have like 12 uh, trading days left before NEO day. Uh, NEO is moving strong today. Uh, we broke that $45 line of resistance, um, but I wanted to talk about uh, article that I read from William Lee. He said he hopes that over the next 10 years, that Neo will not only have success in China, but also hope to have their own position in the global market of smart electric vehicles. Although it's tough, we are still very confident. So my opinion on this is, did you see Luck and Coffee today? Yes, I did. So my opinion on this is that, um, as the electric vehicle industry continues to materialize, there's obviously going to be companies that get shaken out of their position and cease to exist. In China alone, there's over 400 uh, EV makers, and that's as of March. So there's probably somewhere around 500 since um, EVs have really been a really big thing this year, and that was just the registrations as of March. So obviously, China is the biggest electric vehicle market in the world. If a company can't make it out of China, then they can't be a global company. Now, with that being said, NEO has a lot of competitive advantages, um, a lot of government support, uh, monetary support, policy support. And on top of that, there's strong demand that's increasing every month for their product. So with that being said, I think NEO can definitely be uh, a global EV maker. It's going to be a long, hard road, probably full of ups and downs, which will also reflect in the share price. But I think the real challenge for them to to really understand if this brand can uh, succeed on a global scale is uh, next year, how they do in Europe. Europe is going to be the real test for Neo. And on top of that, um, we know that they're just crushing it in China. Their product is in demand and it's scaling. Uh, last month, the margin, I mean, Deutsche Bank predicts that the margins will be around 20% uh, come Q4, which would be a really high um, improvement from Q3, which was around 12.9, which wasn't quite that 14 uh, point something that they were expecting. So if the margins do hit 20, uh, I believe that that says a lot about Neo uh, as a company. And I believe that the stock could truly um reflect that before and then there's obviously neo day coming up as well so with neo day coming up um there's obviously going to be some catalyst there but i believe that the margins are going to say a lot about how neo's operation will be able to scale into europe so if we see some high margins in q4 i think that's something that's going to really excite investors i have like a sore throat today but um I wanted to talk about Bitcoin too. Bitcoin hits all-time highs today of twenty around twenty-three thousand. Here, I'll pull it up so we can see. Yeah, Bitcoin is currently trading at twenty-two thousand seven hundred and four dollars. The price is really fluctuating a lot. It's very volatile, but honestly, Bitcoin has really performed well this year. Um, if you're in, if you were invested in Bitcoin, um, probably three years ago, I was watching this on Pomp. If you were invested in Bitcoin about three years ago, you've outperformed majority of hedge fund managers. You have outperformed majority of hedge fund managers. If you were invested in Bitcoin three years ago, if you were invested in Neo this year, you have outperformed a uh, majority of 
the smart money in the market. You have outperformed headlines because no one was, obviously, Neo was probably one of the biggest movers in the stock market this year. Um, no one was expecting the company to take off um, from a general perspective. Obviously, we were. That's why we invested. We A lot of people were expecting the company to go bankrupt. So um, as I approached the end of the year, um, obviously, a lot of us on this channel have some really good games. So just give yourself a pat on the back because 2020 was an amazing year for a lot of people. Uh, when the pandemic first came across, a lot of people were thinking that it was going to be a write-off. Um, but don't carry a lot of euphoria into 2021 is something that um, I'm going to I have as a saying for myself because you don't know how the market can be in 2021. We could be in a bear market in 2021. Don't panic. Just stick to your strategy, be in good companies, and try to stay rational is something that um, I would say for myself, I'm not going to give financial advice, of course, because, you know, it's important for everyone to do their own research, come up with their own strategies. There's everyone, different people have different risk tolerance. So for someone who's about to retire, it doesn't make sense to put like um, their last $200,000 into NEO. So um, yeah, that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about Bitcoin. Uh, reaching all-time highs. I think I'll double down on that because I don't think that we're seeing the same Bitcoin that we saw uh, in 2017, right? I think that institutions are piling into Bitcoin right now um, at a large scale, a larger scale than we've ever seen at least. Um, MicroStrategy has put a lot of their balance sheet into Bitcoin. That's big money coming in. PayPal has um, allowed for Bitcoin on their platform. Um, it's obviously not to the point where institutional investors are really, really, really investing in Bitcoin yet. So a lot of the big money is still being held out. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones, he said that you are, he said this when Bitcoin was around $10,000, you're still early to Bitcoin. Um, so honestly, I think the Bitcoin story is really interesting. Um, a lot of people are saying that it doesn't have a use case, but if 